what's it like uh, being here tonight? I mean, obviously you've known about this for a while, but is it is it kind of surreal being here tonight? Um, yeah, it, it actually is pretty surreal, but it's I'm still in disbelief that me at all people are even being inducted into the Oakland Raiders Sports Hall of Fame. So yes, it's still mind uh, boggling and blowing to me, but I'm fortunate. Um, I honestly, I don't even know the requirements to even get in this. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. And I'm just like, I did enough to even be considered for this and to get in, it's just like, wow, you know? So um, this, I don't even know what to say because it's just like, I'm still, I'm still in disbelief. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm just going to Does it make you think at all just about where you come from, just being a kid from California, coming out all the way here to play college ball, and, and the fact that it, it turned into something like this? No, most definitely. But at the same time, I never, I never played the, the game to get recognition. I honestly did it for the camaraderie. I did it for the friendships. I did it for, you know, everything that when I was growing up, I wanted to display all my abilities to the best of my abilities and compete against the best. And um, I feel that I just had a great time on the football field. You know, I never, I never did anything for a pat on the back or recognition or to win awards. I just did it because I want that competitor in me. Wanted me, I, I wanted to showcase my talents against the people that are supposed to be the best. When you think of Oklahoma and Oklahoma football, you know what what comes to your mind and you know kind of all the memories. For me, or when I while I was in school. Yeah, like when you were here, and you know, just kind of now, like what what do you think of when you think of? I think about I think about the hardships of what we had to endure in '98, '99 having triumph in 2000 and then, you know, continue, continuing that success in 2001 and so on after. Um, I wanted to leave a lasting legacy through my work ethic and the way how I took the football field. Um, I wasn't a vocal leader. I wasn't a big rah guy. I was a guy that just followed my lead. I'm going to lead by example and, you know, Get, get on the learning curve because this is the way we're going to do it. So yeah. Is there uh, anybody on the current team that that reminds me of the reminds you of the way that you played? No. It's a different. It's a yeah. different. And I, I don't say that in a disrespectful way. I say it because the way the game is being played now with all the rules in favor of the offense, you can't get away with some of the things hand checking down the field. Like I got got away with. It. The, the tackling style that I, I brought to to OU, or just the way I the way I approach the game and how I the physicality of me tackling you can't do that now that's why you see guys make a big hit and they're looking around to see if they got penalized I ain't worried about that you know what I mean so it's tough for for a comparison from then or from back then until now because it, it's not it's not fair yeah. talk about the surprise element of this. What was that moment like just when somebody reached out to you for the first time and said, was it, was it, hey, you're up for this? Was it, hey, you're in? Like, uh, how did man, it, it was come so down? long ago. Um, but I honestly, I, and this is no disrespect to the committee, I, I didn't feel that, especially me and Rocky Camus coming in together at the same time, I didn't feel right going in before Rocky Camus, a, a jinx boy born and bred here. Actually, I was texting with Rocky today, but. I didn't feel right going in before Rocky. I, I don't. I just I don't. In my in my heart of good. I mean, in my heart of hearts, I don't think I should have went in before Rocky. And that I have nothing to do with that. It was all the the folks that voted, and I get it. And I know Rocky will have his day to be recognized, but I just didn't feel right in my heart because I felt that Rocky embodied what it meant to be an Oklahoma, and he carried that on the football field, playing with broken. Uh, Broken arm, you know, chip bone in his knee, never missed a game. Even when he had those broken uh, bones, went on to the NFL as a businessman, um, living in Tennessee, raising his family. Now his son is at OU. I mean, I just, I just, I personally feel that I should be here in support of Rocky today. Will you, will you be here when he does eventually? You damn right I will be. And I'm going to be at the college, uh, the college Football Hall of Fame when he, gets, when he goes to Vegas. I hope they keep him in Vegas because it's so much better in Vegas. 
Um, but I, I, yes, most definitely, I'm support any and every uh, one of my teammates that get in. To, I mean, this is a moment in, in, in life that you know you, those are the moments you have to show up and support. <laughs>